I'd cleared all the tests and knew after training the day before that I was a red hot crack at playing. I just had a really sore neck from a bit of whiplash. After sitting there and our doctor telling me that you can't go and bat against India, that was pure anger. Then for her to tell me the other day that, you know what, you're playing, it was a nice flip of emotions. <laughs> All I remember is the ball going up in the air. Um, I think Elise Villani was at third man and, and called me under it. So I thought, oh, it's definitely mine, but I'm going to have to go hard for it. So I just kept my eye on the ball and ran really hard. And I guess I was sort of lunging at that last minute when I hit shooter's shoulder. Laying on the ground, I remember Elise Perry, I could hear her voice over the top of me saying, stay there, stay there, you're OK. Initially, it didn't worry me too much. I was just more disappointed I couldn't go out and bat. <laughs> A few of the Aussies back home are making footy jokes and saying that they admired my eyes for the ball, but I got shirt fronted. Hopefully it never happens again, but it's one of those things that happens every now and then, I suppose. At times I, I have felt in form and at times it's been a little bit of a struggle and just trying to fight your way through that and, and still find a way to make runs. I'm on a dream run at the moment. It's been pretty special. I've always feel like I've hit the ball well, but potentially not cashed in and, and scored big runs. So it's nice to be able to contribute to the team. To be brutally honest, uh, I haven't been overly happy with how it's been going in the gloves. So tricky place to keep. It sort of either really skids on really quickly or, or is really slow turn. So it's hard to sort of get your timing right, um, you know, to whip the bales off to get a stumping or to take a catch. I've really enjoyed my time behind the stumps. It's, it's always nice having to keep up to the stumps for about 18 overs of the game. I went and had an eye test about six months ago and got put in some glasses. I wasn't quite judging the ball, what I think, correctly. Um, they were still going in the gloves OK, but potentially hitting me a bit sooner than I was thinking. Or I don't know, it was just a bit strange. So I thought, well, I'll have a catch in them and see how I go. And I caught in them at training the other day. And I thought last night, definitely if we fielded second, I'll whack them on and see how I go. So I've never been so confident under a high ball in my life. That's one of the most embarrassing clips that will ever be seen. Everybody in the team and sort of around it, those in the ashes last year, I dropped two in a row under the high ball, under lights, and had the yips ever since. So I've never dropped one at training. Dropped two in the game cold. So for me to, I guess, confidently charge under that ball and someone not shoulder charge me to first, in the first place. But yeah, I was pretty pumped with that. <laughs> we knew coming over here that taking the trophy off them in their home country was going to be a really difficult task. And to do it so convincingly in a semi-final, when we really needed our teammates, every single one of them stood up. And I think that's, that's something really pleasing. To play England in an Ashes series is always pretty special, but to play against them in a World Cup, especially in a World Cup final, is going to be really special. And I can't wait for it. It's always a really competitive and a fiery game. And I've no doubt that Saturday will be exactly the same. <laughs>